Hey, good day. This is going to be weird asking far after the fact. Go fix slow down PSP version of the game or make a video explaining how? Sure. Welcome to it. If you want to fix the PlayStation Portable War of the Lions slowdown problem, the game shipped with a pretty big bug that slows everything down in a big way. Here's how I fixed it. With the one catch that I did my Let's Play uh, on an emulator, this is going to be about patching an ISO. And I'm not going to tell you how to get an ISO of the game. I got mine by rubbing a USB stick up against my copy of the game. That has not been reproducible for anyone else as far as I can tell. So you have to figure out how to make your own. Um, but once you have one, it's quite trivial. There's a couple different ways people have come up with to patch out the slowdown. And I would recommend, let's try plastic with a K. Final Fantasy Tactics Slowdown. Universal Slowdown Removal Patch. Thanks. This is a forum, FF Hactics. They have useful things. Why do you see this link right here to a rare file? If you don't know how to decompress a rare file, get your act together. That should be a pretty quick thing to figure out. You can do it. This is a program. Download it, extract it, run it, and what it does is you give it the ISO for Final Fantasy Tactics, and then you say name it this, and it patches it and creates a new file with the new name. And that's all you have to do. That gets it to, you know, on your computer. Once you have it on your computer, you know, you can just load up that ROM. The other nice thing about this method of patching the game is you don't need to have uh, PPF-O-Matic installed, which is a PlayStation patch format uh, applier. You don't need that program installed. It just does it all in a self-contained way. And it works with mods. So if you have installed any mods on Final Fantasy Tactics, this should work. So super cool. Thanks, Plastic. That'll make most of your problems go away. If you want to get the slowdown fix onto your PSP, there are ways of doing it and there are ways related to it. And he refers to uh, Archaemic who came up with the idea. You can, you can do that, um, but you have to have a modded PSP and a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand how to do. So this is the start of the trail. But if you play emulator style, you can do this. Also, people frequently ask me, you know, how come my emulator settings don't look the same as yours? Um, just play around with the settings, go into video and tinker with things. There's no one correct answer. Um, even when I did my Let's Play, I had about four or five different settings that I used just to experiment with different things. Cause some things look really good, but then you get some lag when like there's rain or some sort of particle effect going on. So, I mean, it's usually just some form of interpolation though. So it, again, just if you go into your emulator settings, like under video settings, you can adjust these things. Almost every emulator has these same settings. And now you know the most frequently asked questions and some of the answers to them. And you might think, hey, he didn't even give me an ISO. Hey, he didn't tell me how to get things onto my PSP. Hey, he didn't even tell me what exactly the settings are. And it's like, yeah, I'm not here to spoon feed you. I told you where the patch is. This thing was hard to find. But now that you know about it, it's easy to find. You're welcome.